Alright, so what is going on guys? Evan here. And today I will be showing you guys how to fix the um, NES blinking red light of death. And really, it's just um, a problem with the internals of your um, NES. Um, it's not, so, it's, re it's a really easy fix. It's not super hard. All you really need is um, a, Phillips, a Phillips screwdriver. Um, I'm using a flathead. Um, if you could do this with a flathead, it's just pretty easy. All you really need to do is just have a screwdriver. All we're going to be doing is just um, opening up the NES and taking something out of it so that it works. Now, um, this console is already fixed, um, but I used to have this problem, but I fixed it um, myself. I'll leave a clip um, of just uh, the console not working, proving that, um, that it was blinking before, and um, I'll show an after. Um, making it ha having it play some uh, game and um, functioning properly. So, um, as you can see, um, there is uh, six screws on the bottom of the NES. Um, so there is three down here. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. You just want to get rid of all those screws and put them somewhere in a safe location so that you won't lose them. So, um, you want to make sure your screwdriver is right and just take out all the screws that are inside. Alright, so here are all six of the screws. You could just put them somewhere aside. And then, um, you just want to, um, flip it over so that it's back on its, uh, um, on its right side. And then you just lift that up. And here you could see all of the, uh, internals, all the metal casing and such. And, um... What you want to do now is you want to take off this big metal plate and um, there is uh, quite a few screws. So there is a screw right here, 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 here. So that's four, five, and six. Okay, and then you just want to take all of them out oh and i think i already counted this so i'm not too sure but there's another screw right in here so you just want to take out all seven of the screws and um i'll show you what to do from there all right so now that you've gotten all the screws out um you could just put them somewhere aside um i it's all the screws are the same size so um it doesn't really matter if you mix them up so here you just want to carefully take off the metal plating and here we are exposed the internals and um you could just put this aside and because uh, you won't be needing it right now and um right here you you could see that um the cartridge holder is right here and um what you want to do is um you want to take out uh these screws so there is another six screws there's um one two three over here and another three over here and yeah, you just want to take off all those screws. Um, you want to make sure uh, to be careful with uh, these two specifically, these two bottom ones, because uh, these are slight. Uh, these are longer, so um, than the uh, rest of the, these are longer than the uh, rest of the screws uh, we just um, uh, got rid of. Um, so you just want to put them uh, somewhere else. But um, they're pretty easy to spot in a pile of the same screws, so it doesn't really matter. Just make sure for that make sure to look out for that okay so here we are we just got rid of them and um you could already see the two longer screws and you could just again just put them aside and then um so you want to make sure the cartridge holder is facing you and you want to just uh, carefully um take it out of the system pulling it back make sure not to uh, ruin anything and here we are the cartridge holder you could just uh, again put that aside all right uh next next thing you want to do um is um you want to take off these two screws there's one right here and there's another one uh kind of right here you can see it right there and uh, you just want to take those uh two screws off all right so here we are uh, you could actually start lifting it up and um what you want to do first before doing that um you want to take off this ribbon connector or this uh, connector, this connector over here and this one. So um, you can just 
lift it up and carefully uh, remove those connectors. All right, so here we have one connector uh, removed. And then um, if you want, you could just flip it over. Just be careful doing that. And you could uh, still remove it from like that. All right, so here we... So here we have another one I just removed. All right, so here we are. I just uh, removed all of these uh, uh, connectors and you could actually just uh, put the uh, NES aside. And here we are. Oh, you could, you actually have the, um, you can just remove this uh, metal part like that. Just carefully uh, just slide it off, put that to the side. And here we are the, um, you could actually um, just go over here and um, you want to focus on this chip right here. So um, you guys, um, if you haven't done this before, you should have your fourth, um, your fourth connector right here, your fourth pin. Um, I don't. And what you want to do is you actually want to get something to uh, remove that and take that off. So you want to get something sharp. Or something um, and you want to put a lot of pressure on it so that you actually uh, pull it off so you want to do that and you just want to pull it off until the metal bit comes off and then um, there should be nothing on the fourth one make sure it's the fourth one on the bottom part facing this way facing this way all right and then um, once you've uh, removed that, you can actually just reassemble the entire NES again. So um, you can just put this metal piece, piece back. And uh, you could just put this uh, metal piece back where it was. All right, so now that you've uh, put this back on, you could actually uh, reinsert it back into the um, NES. And um, here again, you just want to put this, this cable on the big blue one over here. All right, so now that you've connected it, um, you could just flip it back over to um, th this way. And then you could uh, actually just reinsert this one back into this part. This a uh, longer, you could reinsert this longer one on the right over here. On the right over here and reinsert it onto the right part of the um, the bottom right part of the system. Make sure um, you don't put too much force into it. It might be the wrong spot or the wrong side or something. And then you could just insert the bottom one back onto where it was before. And there you go. You could just uh, Put it in there. You want to. You want. You want to make sure some of the wires aren't uh, hanging out like that. And here we go. And then you could get um this part now and reinsert it back into where it was. Push it back in like that. And then the um. And then what you want to do is you want to get um your screws and you want to put the screws back into screw the back screw this back in this one these two make sure the taller one is on the bottom part these two uh this one and this one all right there all right so now that you've um put the all those screws back in you could put this a uh, metal plate back on And uh, put the screws back, uh, the seven screws back. So it could be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. So now that you've put that metal plate back on and and screwed it on, um, you could put this 
um, this cover back on, flip it over, and um, you could put the screws, the six screws back on one, two, three, and uh, four, five, and six. All right, so there you have it, guys. Um, once you set it up and put it all together, um, yours should start playing normally, just like mine, as you can see here. And um, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.